Warning, spoilers are coming. He's alive! I was right. First up, we have to talk about the Hound, who's been roaming the Riverlands. But remember, he's not the only major player there. Raids are being carried out by the Brotherhood Without Banners, and at Riverrun, the Tullys will face the Lannisters. By the next episode, Brienne, Pod, Jamie, Bronn, the Blackfish, Edmure, and the Hound will all be close enough to encounter each other. I'm interested in the showdown between Jaime and Brienne, but also, how will the Hound react to seeing thousands of Lannister banners if he wanders close enough to Riverrun? And now that we're seeing the Brotherhood without banners again, will we see another resurrected character? Over in King's Landing, I can't wait to see what the Tyrell women are planning. Queen Marjorie just won herself the Westerosi equivalent of an Oscar for her performance this week. She even fooled the awful and irritating Septuionella. Shame. What? It's true. The question is, will the High Sparrow find out Marjorie's not actually faithful to him? Or will he be too distracted with trying to get Tom and laid? Violence is headed for the Faith Militant either way, thanks to Cersei, but Olena and Marjorie might have something less bloody prepared. Don't forget, Marjorie has a way with the people of King's Landing, something no other royal has achieved in recent history. Finally, don't worry, Arya's going to be okay. Thank you, Lord of Light. Wrong Stark, but sure. Anyway, we've seen Arya in the trailer, so we know she survives this first attack. But how is she going to escape Bravos now that she's dropped out of the House of Black and White? My guess, she'll find passage out of Bravos, but maybe not to Westeros. When she tried to pay her way aboard a ship, the captain was gossiping about the Iron Fleet. Yara and Theon's ships are now in Slaver's Bay in southern Essos, and Bravos is in the north. But what if Arya gets chased onto a ship headed down the Narrow Sea instead of across it? What if she winds up with the Ironborn and Theon brings her farther east? This show will do anything to delay another Stark reunion. Whatever happens, I'm just glad we also met another badass child. Welcome, Lady Lyanna. I hope you win the Iron Throne. Though, you know who's not going to win the Iron Throne? Al Swearingen. I mean, Blackbeard. I mean, the bad guy from Kung Fu Panda. I mean, wow. Ian McShane's been in so many things. And now he's been in Game of Thrones. Thanks for the mini play, Brother Ray, and for that normal name. See you in American Gods! And that's all the time we have this week. As always, thanks for tuning in to Entertainment Weekly's Game of Theories. Please join me in casting a vote for Lady Liana to be our president. She can't, she's on a TV show. See you next week!